Hi guys, this is Alex from Mesa Lifestyle. I hope you guys are doing well. I thought we have not done one of our videos that we pair ready to wear, um, ready to wear clothing, right? Usual fashion trends with patterns that that are out there, right? So I thought January, let's do it. It's awesome for inspiration. And guys, if you this is your first time here, please subscribe. And also, I have a bunch of videos that I do with um, that I pair. Um, really, like sew the look, sew the sew the ready to wear look with um, with sewing patterns. So I did a little digging yesterday because I've been getting a ton of ads, and I got a ton of ads through the holidays and when I like an ad all I do is I just kind of usually see it on my phone what I usually do I just kind of snap a pick a screenshot of the picture and I put it off to the side and eventually I come back to it some things I love and other things I'm like what the heck was I thinking but I thought um I was getting a ton of ads for La Ralph Lauren I don't know if you guys had got a ton of ads for Ralph Lauren too it had this um, a red velvet dress, which was so, so in tune for the holiday season, but that's long gone now. But it did get me to their site and it got me, um, it got me checking out this dress and I'm going to put it right up. It's a beautiful, it's kind of like, can I, you call it like a faux wrap or wrap dress? Um, and I saw it and I'm like, you know, I've seen something similar before. I really liked it, faux suede. Hey, what's not to like? But obviously you can make it in other fabrics, right? I remembered about Simplicity 9042, and I'm gonna put that right up. Isn't that pretty close? That's pretty darn close, if you guys ask me. Yes, you're going to probably have to add some cuffs, but that's pretty easy to do because we got a ton of patterns, a ton of shirt patterns with cuffs, right? You're also going to have to add a collar, but we know how to do those. You're probably gonna have to get rid of the band. There's kind of like a band or you can keep it, whichever or right, but it's pretty darn, pretty darn close. So I thought that, that was a beautiful pattern and, um, you know, it's V9, V neckline. It's got long sleeves, a little bit longer length, definitely something that I would wear. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I miss the patterns from Cynthia Rowley. Um, I haven't seen them. I, I, I don't think, I don't think I saw one in the last couple of re releases for Simplicity, so I wonder if she is still issuing those out, but whatnot. I also get some ads from the awesome folks at Cynthia Rowley, and I've gotten, I got this ad for this dress, right, and it's a black dress with like a, almost like a glitter um, rib knit in the center and like a skirt. I love it. It's got raglan sleeves. Perfect. Definitely something that someone like me would wear. I don't know if you guys would, but knits, comfortable, looks somewhat dressy. Totally love it. And I, I, I looked at that and I'm like, you know, I've seen something similar. There's something similar out there. And sure enough, Simplicity 9135, and I'm going to put it up. So again, you don't have the raglan sleeves, but again, you can keep it as is, or you can make it into a raglan sleeves. Again, we have a ton of those patterns. You would have to um, lengthen the sleeves, right? P probably put a little rib knit at the uh, by the cuffs for the sleeves. But again, guys, that's easy to do. Especially me, I've been whipping out sweaters left and right because it's so cold by me. But that's something easy to do. And also you have to do some slash pockets. And if you are wondering what pattern can I use for slash pockets, I'm gonna tell you Mimi G's 9261. I have been hacking that pattern and using the skirt portion of that pattern nonstop for quite a couple of knit dresses. It has a little bit of a plunging neckline for me. It's a little bit too much plunging, right? Um, but that skirt pattern, ooh, it's a good one. So definitely look into that. 
And here is one that just came out on um, Simplicity's new 2022 um, new spring collection. Have you guys seen it? It's actually a good one, very interesting. They did some adaptive um, adaptive patterns in there, which, wow, you know, and then they also split some of their sizing range and it's to bigger sizes. So definitely let me know what you think of that spring collection. I thought it was very interesting, but I was looking at their pattern simplicity 9466, right? It is a reissue from a vintage pattern from the 60s. I saw that and I'm like, you know, that's really interesting because I follow a vintage um, a vintage haute couture um, seller. She sells these designs from couture houses, Dior, um, Chanel, just pretty high-end stuff and people that just, they just sell it right back out, send it out to someone and she had posted this picture. So this is a 1966 dress from Dior and this was designed by the designer at that time, Mark Bowen. Guys, I'm going to put up the pattern again. That is, I mean, that is the same exact thing. Yes, you're probably going to have to add some welt pockets to it. But again, we got tons of those patterns out here that we can always just borrow from another pattern, place it on this pattern from Simplicity and hack away. So I think that was an interesting one that I found. And I don't know about you, but um, it has been pretty cold by us here in the Midwest. It's, you know, it's winter. So I'm not in Florida. It's not 70s here. So it's definitely winter by me. And again, I was looking at J. Crew, and they had this beautiful Teddy Sherpa coat. Love it. They had it in like this mauve pink. Completely sold out. Of course, story of my life. But... I was looking at coat patterns. It's Simplicity 8797, and I'm going to put it up. So this is a Sherpa coat pattern. Yes, it's not. It doesn't have double-breasted like the coat from J. Crew, but again, great pattern, right, that you, can, um, that you can use. And I love this pattern because it is drafted for, for wool blends, for Sherpa coats. So again, your ease on the pattern is going to be taking those type of fabrics into account. So great pattern. And then, you know, sure enough, my daughter got a couple of gifts for the holidays and you know her usual thrifty little self she doesn't she doesn't care for fast fashion but you know i'm like we're here let's look around let's just get inspired right so we were looking at free people at a skirt she loved and i know i had gotten an ad for Cezanne, which is this it's kind of like a free people but french right it's a french store but um I was looking at this skirt and it is their Allison skirt, guys. And this retails for around like $200, right? So I said, you know, I think I've seen this one before. And sure enough, this was in my favorites folder. I'm waiting for a sale to buy this pattern. This is from Berta and this is Berta 6252. And I'm going to put it up. So obviously it's got a long skirt, but it also has a short skirt and um, pretty darn close. Again, you can do this in faux leather. You can do this in corduroy if you wanted to. You'll probably do this in denim if you wanted to and do some snaps. So again, another pattern. You could save some money because I'm sure that you could probably whip up the skirt with like a yard of fabric, right? And then um, I was also looking at another skirt from um, from Cezanne. So this was kind of like a wrap skirt, and it's called a Kira skirt. So I'm gonna put it up. Again, another faux suede. Hey guys, it's winter, right? So why not? Yeah, faux suede may not keep you really warm, but you will look real cute. But this skirt from Cezanne it retails for almost 
300 dollars, 300 big ones right um I'll, and i gotta say i really like this skirt i really do it's simple it's a classic design right and i'm like i've seen that one before i've seen that one before and it is simplicity 9048 and i'm gonna put it up guys so this is simplicity 9048 it is so close that um that i think i think 9048 came out before this skirt was um put up by Cezanne. so i think it is pretty darn close actually i think it's the same exact thing so there you have it and I don't know if you guys listen to a lot of fashion influencers. I do. I put them all on Instagram just because sometimes when the weather is dreary and these people post these pictures and these bright sunny locations with these fun clothes. So I listen, I, I watch this influencer. Her name is Jennifer Lake. She is in Chicago and she is always on these bright, sunny, happy locations, but I love it because she always wears these bright clothes. And I had seen this dress that she had posted sometime last year and I saved it and I put it off to the side and I really, really liked it right i mean it's it's nice and bright thankfully jennifer has a link on her site it's called like it to know it and you click in there and obviously she gets a commission if you buy i'm not buying i'm getting inspired but you click in there and sure enough she has to dress and it's from shop bob and i'll put the dress picture up i think Jennifer, the influencer, looks even better in the dress than the one in from Shop Bob. But guys, and I love this dress, and I thought about making it sometime in the summer because I think it would be a nice dress for everybody to try. This is McCall's 8178, and I'm going to put it up, and it is the same exact thing. I would have to say that, yes, some of the go day, go day panels in the skirt are a different height, but nobody would know the wiser if you keep them all the same height and you perhaps do a rope skirt, a, a rope, um, a rope belt like the one they have in Shop Bob, and you have the exact same dress. So I thought that was um, that was pretty fun, right? And lastly, I don't know, do you guys, do you guys love Altusara? I learned about him from some of these, was it Rent the Runway or one of those, one of those shows and the designer, his name, um, his name is Joseph Altasara and he has some really fun designs and I follow him, definitely something that I would wear, but he had this ad, again, me with the ads and let me tell you guys, they get me good because they get me looking, but they had this ad for this red dress and if you go to the ad you can go to um i think it's moda operandi you go to the side they have this dress in black and they have it in red i love it in red i don't know how it look at me in red probably black might be a better color but i love it in red and then i said you know i've had something pretty darn similar for a long time in my stash and it's by Mimi G, and this is Simplicity 8334. Again, obviously, the one from Altasara has the um, the placket and the openings coming from the side, but I think this is something that you can totally hack, right? And make yourself something pretty darn similar. So guys, do you like this video? Give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Do you like these videos? Are you getting a little bit inspired to sew a little more that perhaps, um, you know, because I go to all these stores and I tell myself, okay, would I wear that? Yeah, I would wear that, right? But um, can I make that? And nine times out of 10, the answer to that is yes. And I would say eight times out of 10, I can find a pattern for it. So let me know in the comments if you are using any patterns 
to try to copy some ready-to-wear clothes that you have seen out there that you know for a fact that you can make it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next week.